Yeah. Well, bloopers. This is a lot of work right now. What is up, everybody? Dominic here with the Ford and After, and today I will be cleaning slash restoring these old slip-on vans. Now, today for that process, I will be using. To be honest with you guys, this is my second time cleaning shoes. I did a pair yesterday and I used this and so far it works pretty good. Just set that down. And I will be using probably about four different types of brushes today. I have, this is basically the all-purpose brush. This is just to make sure it has an overall clean. This is more of a in-depth brush. It cleans a little, you know, more. And then you have the steel brush. This is a brass brush, my bad. This is a steel brush. This is probably gonna scratch something, but you know, it's the second time doing this, so screw up, you screw up. Big deal. Then this brush, this is one of my favorite brushes, even though this is my second time doing this, I can't really have favorites. But I like this one because it's just an off, you know, cleaner. It's just a good scrubbing. So yeah, so I'm only gonna be doing one shoe so I can show the before and then the after. Let's do this one. Okay, so I gotta insert my adjustable shoe tree. Hopefully I get this right the first time. Wait, actually, first I'm going to try and remove the soles. So that way I can clean them. Cause my thing's not wanting to come out. Yeah! Oh my gosh, that is dirty. Okay, looks like these aren't coming out, that's fine. I'll just have to throw those out. But I'm gonna put the shoe tree in first. Okay. So I have my, I have my spray here, I just put it in the spray bottle, nothing that fancy. So I noticed I put probably a little more than I needed, but I just want to get a good scrub in. So with the brushes, I'm going to start with the brass brush because I don't want to, you know, hurt it. I'm going to switch to the all-purpose brush now. Let me just apply it straight onto the brush. As y'all can see all of this on the table, there is a lot, and I mean a lot, of just to access um, spray and dirt mix sense. This is a lot of work right now. But these are pretty worn Vans slip-ons. Now if you can't tell, these are supposed to be black and white, but as of right now, they're looking brown and white, or not white, brown and black. Now if y'all can see right there, it looks, the white specks or the white squares, those look kind of grayish right now. I am hoping that that will come out when I dry it. I'm just thinking that the shoe is wet right now, so it's probably gonna have that little discoloration. But, let's hope so. For the midsoles, I think I'm going to use I'm going to use the all-purpose brush right here. I'll probably switch that out, but like I said, this is my second time doing this, so pretty much I'm just trying to test out all the brushes, see which one I like best, see which one works best. So that way, maybe next video I don't have to, you know, do all of this boring stuff. Let me switch out to the brass brush. Let me apply a little more of my all-purpose cleaner. Which one's the? Oh yeah, brass brush. Oh, I know a lot of y'all might be wondering, dude, why in the heck did you put a shoe tree in there? Well, since these shoes have been worn, you know, there's this thing called creasing, and a lot of people don't like that, and I don't like it myself, so I'm just trying to take that out right now. 
I got a majority of it out, but there's still more in there. So I'm gonna switch to the metal brush. Now I would recommend starting out in like a circular motion, trying to spread around that cleaner as much as you can. But when you are circling that, keep in mind that you want it, you don't want to as much scrape it if you're just circling it around like I'm doing right now. That is why I'm using the all-purpose brush versus the brass or the steel one. Now y'all would notice that I am applying a lot of this cleaner, but this is a really freaking dirty shoe. So then again, I'm just gonna go into circular motion with the brass, see if that brings a little more of that dirt up. Okay, so, um, you see all that gray? It's supposed to be white, but I'm just hoping that once I let it dry for a while, maybe about an hour and a half, two hours, it will slowly start turning white. Because if not, I messed up big time. But it actually looks a lot cleaner than it did before. As you can see, I made a really ginormous mess right here. That's all right though. So let me do the other side of the uppers and I'm gonna up oh, up oh, bloopers all right as I was saying let me go back to the big brush now it looks like the tongue could use a little bit of some TLC especially at the top so there's not much I can really do about that I've, you know I've done everything I could I uh, couldn't. I'm doing everything I can. So I'm gonna go around, you know, spray it a little bit more. And I'm gonna go switch back to the big brush. Now, um, I've done the, what's it called? Brain fart. This thing, I have done that with the all-purpose mega huge brush. Is honestly my favorite one right now. But I'm gonna go around since those are the sides. I can be more rough with it. Where is it? Okay. So I'm gonna use my metal brush to go around and just scrape some of that dirt off. Now once I started using this brush right here. It is looking a whole lot more better, and I probably was out of camera right there. I apologize for that. But this is my first time on camera. This is actually really exciting right now. But yeah, um, this, the metal brush on the, these brain, I don't know about, I can't speak English anymore, apparently. On these right here, the sides, these are, Pretty rough, and this metal this metal brush is doing is doing work. It's going to work. Oh Jesus! Ooh, that's not good. Okay, so I just noticed right now at the bottom, it's coming off a bit. Um, there's nothing I can really do about that. I mean, then again, this is a shoe cleaning video, not a shoe repair video. They're looking good. All right, let me take the good old shoe tree out. I actually, I don't, I don't think I needed one for this video because they're slip-on bands, and if any of y'all have any, or if y'all seen any or worn any, you know that there's not really much crease in there because it's all fabric going all the way through. Oops. So I'm debating if I should do the bottoms or not. The bottoms aren't that bad. So let's go ahead and scrub them off anyway. Now, maybe in future videos, because I will be doing way more shoe videos. 
I will be getting better at this, don't worry. And I want you on the comment section saying, boy, you suck at this. Well, right now, I kinda do. So, I will be getting better at this, I will be doing more of this. And, and also one of the other things is that I don't have a lot of, what's the word? I wouldn't say supplies, I have tons of supplies right here. But, um, but also, this would probably be the part where I'm like, all right, let me just go, I did good, let me just go film in the washing machine real quick. I cannot do that either, because my mom has told me no, like a million freaking times. So, I think what I'm gonna do right now is, yeah, I put a little too much of this on here. I think what I'm gonna do is I might run it over with water, put in some water, clean it off by, like that. I don't know, or I might just go outside and let it dry. So, all right, um, I did, oh wait, I forgot about that. Let me just clean in some of this dirtiness. Let's see, does this fit? Nope, it won't. Let's do the brass one. Trying to keep your toes clean by cleaning this out when about getting foot fungus Oops. hope this wasn't in the way the whole entire time that would have really sucked so let me just clean some of this out I'm gonna go outside leave it out there for a while let it dry now oh, there's a lot of that white that white stuff on here, the spray, turned white on me, but I think we should be good. Alright, I'm going to let it outside. See y'all then.